The city of Sevastopol in occupied Crimea came under a missile attack overnight on May 15, with Russian media outlets reporting explosions and fires. Russian air defense units repelled a massive attack against Sevastopol overnight on May 15, the Russian-installed head of Sevastopol, Mikhail Razvozaev, claimed via telegram. Wreckage of an intercepted missile hit private businesses, Razvozaev said. No casualties have been reported. Explosions were heard in the city and fires are still burning near the Belbek military airfield, local residents told the Russian telegram news channel Astra. Astra reported, citing local residents, that there were about 20 missiles, and that something is still burning near the Belbek airfield. Some 10 atoms were unleashed on the annexed peninsula in a massive attack. Despite the claims, Ukrainian monitoring group Crimean Wind reported, an hour after the end of the missile attack on the Belbek airfield, the number of fires in the aircraft parking area became many times larger. And the fires themselves became stronger. In an effort to bolster defenses against Ukrainian drone attacks, the occupiers have reportedly installed barricades across Sevastopol Bay. Authorities reportedly shut down traffic on the Crimean bridge amid the missile attack. Ukrainian forces previously attacked the Belbek airfield with scalp storm shadow long-range cruise missiles on January 31, damaging at least three Russian military aircraft. In recent months, Ukraine has intensified its attacks on occupied Crimea, targeting Russian military assets in and around the Black Sea. At the beginning of April, according to satellite images, there were many enemy aircrafts at this airfield. We are talking about 30 Russian planes and helicopters. Among them are 10 Su-27-30, 4 MiG-31, 6 MiG-29, 3 L-39, 4 Mi-8, 2 Ka-27-29, 1 Su-25. In addition, the airbase has approximately 15 hangars where enemy aircraft can be hidden. Blinken promises Ukrainian president new U.S. weapons will be game change. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has reportedly informed Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky that Washington's long-delayed military aid is now on its way and is expected to make a real difference, according to several media outlets. Blinken arrived in Kiev on May the 14th for a previously undisclosed meeting with the country's leadership. His visit marks the fourth time he has traveled to Ukraine and comes after Congress approved President Joe Biden's $61 billion military aid package for the country last month. While no official statements have yet been released regarding Blinken's meeting with Zelensky, the Associated Press and Reuters have reported he told the Ukrainian leader that, in the near term, the assistance is now on the way, some of it has already arrived and more of it will be arriving, adding that it is going to make a real difference against the ongoing Russian aggression on the battlefield. According to BBC correspondent Tom Bateman, who is accompanying Blinken, Zelensky stressed during the meeting that Ukrainian troops have been through a tough period, particularly in the East, and thanked the Secretary for the crucial package of military assistance. The Ukrainian leader reportedly highlighted the importance of receiving the US weapons as quickly as possible and reiterated demands for additional air defense systems, explaining that Ukraine had an ongoing deficit of such munitions, notably around Kharkov, Ukraine's second largest city, where Russian forces have been rapidly gaining ground. A US official traveling with Blinken told reporters that the aim of the Secretary of State's visit to Ukraine is to send a strong signal of reassurance to the Ukrainians who are obviously in a very difficult moment and detail how US aid will help Kiev's forces take back the initiative on the battlefield. The Ukrainian general staff admitted that Russian forces have gained the upper hand in the Kharkov region after capturing multiple towns and villages in the area over the weekend. Russia's success on the battlefield has reportedly already prompted Ukraine to redeploy some of its forces from the Donbass front to Kharkov. Meanwhile, Western analysts have raised concerns that the Russian offensive could turn out to be a nightmare for Kiev and push it towards peace negotiations with Moscow.